hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced tutorial now you are watching part 2 of the video c sharp model and modeless dialogues so here we will create our first form then we will also discuss discuss about the example so this stuff we learned in our uh, previous uh, part so if you see here in this example we will create a main form and uh, this uh, main form will get created when we create the project so from this uh, main form we will uh, reach a uh, about form and this form we will create and we will display this as a modulus dialog so since we display this as a model modulus dialog when this dialog is displayed you can still access the uh, calling dialog so this is the calling dialog and about form is the called dialog so since about form is displayed as a modulus dialog when this modulus dialog that means the about form is displayed or we can say the about dialog is displayed without closing it you can actually edit something in the text field here you can move the window so all the stuff you can do why because as we already saw the modulus dialog is not a blocking call that means you can access both these dialog so you will learn how to launch the about form as a modulus dialog that's one thing we will do then a second thing we will check whether we can access the uh, dialog when the about form is displayed so we will learn those two stuff here after that we will see how to launch the person name form as a model dialog so here we will fill some details and once you click ok we will get a formatted field or a formatted information uh, that is populated here that means we will set this field as a read only field then you will type the content here and you will see that content appearing here as a formatted content so we will see how to design a form and then it display that as a modulus dialog and once the dialog is displayed as a mod sorry display this as a model dialog once the dialog is displayed here as model then we will examine that the caller is blocked so here this is the caller calling the person name form as a model dialog and once the dialog is displayed we will check whether we can access this dialog we will try editing a field or we can try moving this and we will ensure that uh, how the model display is blocking the caller so once you click ok or cancel then you will see that the dialog receive focus here so that part we will learn then yeah read formatted person name that we will learn when we are implementing and we will also learn which button user pressed here whether they click it ok or cancel so that also we will learn based on the dialog return value here we will use show method and here we will use show dialog so all those stuff we will learn when we start implementing the uh, dialogs so one is a part of the project this main form about form we will create one using add item and we will create this form also using add item then we will customize the form design so that the form will get displayed as a dialog here if you see this is our main form so you can see in the main form we have a name field and this name field is read only that means the user cannot type anything here instead they can click this button this button one is 
So this button one will launch a model dialog. Then the second control here. So this is a about button. This will launch a about dialog. Uh, so we know that this one will launch a modeless dialog and this button will launch a model dialog. All right. Here age, if you see, this is just a normal text field so that we can examine whether user can type anything here when model and modeless dialogues are displayed so just for experiment purpose we can use this field and yeah so if you see this is the default form whenever we create a windows form application a form will get displayed and we will use that form as a as our main form so we name this as a user creation form and yeah that's all here then the about box if you see so that's the modulus right we will display this about box as a modulus dialog whenever this about button is clicked and here if you see we have just one label control and you will also learn one technique here uh, how to edit a multi-line label at a design time and yeah here we have a label control that spans uh, some text in uh, three lines and we will launch this about as a modulus dialog so when user clicks about button we will launch this dialog then we have uh, one more dialog so once user clicks this uh, button it will launch person names and collects the input so here we will collect input like uh, mr mrs all the stuff is called a title then you will type first name last middle name and last name finally user can click either ok button or cancel button so this ok and cancel button will tell whether the launching dialog can accept the input or not so that means the user can type in something here and they can click either ok or cancel but inside the uh, calling dialog so when you click this ellipsis button this will get launched and from the caller perspective so this will be a blocking call right so once we make a call to this dialog it will be a blocking call and once user clicks ok or cancel the control will resume here so when the control resumes here we want to know whether user clicked the OK button or cancel button. So that's why here we kept OK and cancel. You can label it as you like. So this can be any button at runtime or during the design time. We will tell the dialog which one is uh, belongs to OK button and which one belongs to the cancel button. Here. per windows standard we just kept ok and cancel and we will set some power property so that uh, when user clicks ok it will send a relevant uh, return value to the caller so okay all the stuff we will learn when we uh, go to the coding part so for now you can see that these are all the uh, dialogues we will use or we can say these are all the forms we will create and later we will convert these as a dialog so here if you see we have minimize and minimize and restore button so just for design purpose i kept it here but when we actually go to the form design we will eliminate these uh, minimize and maximize we will display only this cross that means the user cannot resize it they can just close these forms that means they all these all these three forms will act as a dialog so as already told this is the default form this one we will create using add item and this one also we will create it as a add item then from this main dialog we will launch the added dialogs so this one we will invoke it as a modulus and this one we will invoke it as a model dialog
now let's go to the demo and just create the uh, first form and we will look at some of the properties so first you, you need to create a project called dialog examples and here we named it as form one and if you need you can change it as user creation form or we can call it as a main form so the property got changed here next if you see here we have a label we doesn't change uh, anything here so the text is name then we have a age one more label then we have one text box and we name this a text box as a txt fmt name so that's the name given for this then we will change this as a read only so by default it will be false once you change it as a read only uh, we will get a gray color here so to overwrite that you can go back to back color once again and set that as a white color so these are all not important one what's important is the name and we are setting read only property to true that means user cannot edit the data so this name property we will access uh, when we are coding it age if you seen we doesn't change the name why because uh, this just for a demo purpose and we won't access this uh, text box at runtime then we have a button called btn name and the text is triple dot so this will invoke uh, model dialog and from that dialog we will actually populate this uh, uh, name field person name we can say person name field we will uh, uh, populate here that means here we are not allowing the user to type in and user can type something through the dialog so that you will always get a standard format here then uh, about box and we named it as btn about and text is also about so also if you notice here we don't have uh, the minimize and maximize button for that what we have to do for this uh, form so i just kept the default name form one if you need you can change it to a different form i mean different name And if you see form border style we kept it as a fixed dialog so there are other styles also um, fixed single sizable so this is the default one so here we made it as a fixed dialog and we also set maximize and minimize box to false that's why you are not seeing maximize and minimize box here so when the form is displayed it will get displayed as a dialog since it is a fixed dialog if you see it user is not allowed to resize it and they cannot do minimize and maximize also so now this one appears as a dialog so now let's close it close it and this is our main form and if you see here we have a forum about dot csc a forum format now dot csc so what you have to do is you have to choose add new item then choose windows form then type in the name a forum about 
a form about .cs and then click add so likewise you have to add one more form also and we will talk about these two form in the next coming videos so in the next video we will uh, talk about this form then we will launch uh, the about form as a modulus dialog that means we will handle the about click event in the next video and in the fourth video we will launch this format name as a um, model dialog so a forum about we will add us uh, we will launch that as a modulus dialog a forum format name we will launch it as a model dialog when user clicks this ellipsis button so that's all uh, in this video thank you for uh, watching bye